saying, you know, I've noticed that too. Incredible. Might remember Dr. Doolittle sang that song, If I Could Talk to the Animals. Well, one Tucson woman claims to do just that. Samantha Curry believes that communication with animals is a whole new frontier. She says most people can learn to communicate and relate better with their pets. No stranger to the animal world. She has worked with many famous pets, including the Dobermans on Magnum P.I. She says the secret to animal communication is sending clear visual pictures to your pet. To do it. Everybody daydreams. And if you're day good at daydreaming, you would be excellent at talking to the animals. Recently, she has been called on to aid an elephant with emotional problems at the San Diego Zoo. Hmm, amazing. That's our show tonight. We will be back. How did you first get started communicating with the animal kingdom? I think I've always worked with the animals. Uh, when I started making my profession being that, well, I was in my 20s, or in my late 20s, really. Um, and I realized that I had a potential, and it just kind of changed. You know how you go through life and you start out with one point of view, and then all of a sudden there's these side tracks? Well, that's exactly what happened. A few side tracks changed my whole direction and my whole uh, focus on what I wanted to do on the long term. I knew that the long term was animals. But I thought it was going to be in more of a healing. I think we all have that capacity or that desire to instantly heal. And that desire in me was really uh, what I wanted to be able to do, was somehow get my personality out of the way so that the healing could just be facilitated. And I spent a lot of time trying to develop a potential and a sensitivity to do that, not to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I found out is as I was developing that sensitivity, I was developing a part of my brain that was opening up to communication because I was visually oriented, mm -hmm. and animals are visually oriented. Samantha.